drop the anchor down. And the sun's probably about an hour and a half from going down and that's probably about perfect time, great time to catch a snapper. And we're gonna cut up some cubes and set up a burly trail, feed a few baits back and see how we go. Have, yeah, got him on mate. Got our burly trail happening and just had my first run. He's fantastic, these reels where you can you can let that, uh, you've got those two drag, yeah, nice oh, snapper. Oh, oh, nice little snapper. You got snapper. him? Oh, yeah. beautiful. Hey, he's good. Oh, oh, nice. There we go. Perfect. Sun's going down. He's, he's quite a fat little fish, that bloke. I think he might be sitting down there in the burly trail, and that's what we're looking for is a beautiful little snapper like this. And of course, they can grow right up to that magic 18 kilo, 40 pound, which are pretty rare fish. But uh, fish this size are just beautiful. And, you never know, we, we could see them get a little bit bigger as that sun goes down. And what I have got is I've got one nylon rig, so if this one's got nylon or yeah, conventional nylon line with a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Then we've got some 20 pound braid on exactly the same reel, the exact same rod, and we're gonna set them both out and just see if one works a little better than the other. Way you go, old mate. Well, the most important thing when you're trying to burly up or cube up some fish is to keep it consistent. So I've got all sorts of bits and pieces here. It's a bit of squid, there's the tail off a yellow tail, and then we've got some different baits there, some fillets, some uh, brine, slimy mackerel, and some pilchards, and feed those down. And you just keep that thing ticking over, so once you see one cube disappear, put the next one in, and so on and so on. The sun's getting pretty low, you can see that uh, golden sunshine on my face. And hopefully there's going to be some big snapper sneaking around not too far away. We've got two outfits that are exactly the same. So these rods are both both the same. Um, I think they're, what are they, 6 to 10 kilo, these fellas? Yeah, 6 to 10 kilo, got that nice soft tip. Perfect uh, for bait, bait fishing, got that fiberglass tip as you can see there. And then these reels, they're great, they've got the, the, uh, the lighter drag for when the fish wants to run, and then when you click it into gear, you're onto your heavier drag. But this one's got 20 pound PE or braid on it, and I've got 20 pound nylon. And so far, I reckon we're getting more bites on the nylon. I do like nylon for bait fishing, you do too. Oh, I know at the really moment, sure. we're just a bit of an experiment. And you've had a couple of bites, but, yeah. but unfortunately haven't hooked up. So it'd be interesting to see. Oh, and there we go. There he goes again. <laughs> Got him. Got him that time. Oh. Oh. oh no, it's done. Oh, what happened there? Oh. What happened? Screaming run. That was a good fish. Whew. And there we go. Beautiful <laughs> little snapper. The sun's going down as you can see behind me. And our little burling session starting to work really, really well. Another magnificent little baby snapper, a little pinky. Look at that. Getting a bit of a touch here now. Oh mate, wait, there he, there he goes, gotcha. Woo! Oh. What do you got mate? Mate, they go <laughs> the nylon. Oh, <laughs> mate, I've retired mine. Oh, there you go. I think he's a little bit better this way. How, how good is it with that, that secondary drag and you just hear that, that run go? Pick it up. Put it in the ear. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll come over there. Oh, better one. Hold that. Oh, where is he? That's a nicer one. Starting to get that bump on his head. And we thought just on sunset they might get a little bigger. And they certainly are. That's a nice one, that one there. Looking him in the corner. They're coming around, mate. Look at that sunset. Hot pink and a hot red to go with it. <laughs> What had to happen, mate? Finally, Barney's had a run and it looks like he's into a red. That last light you get as the sun goes down is a peak bite time for many different species, especially snapper. It's all happening thick and fast now. I've just landed another nice fish. No time to waste. We've got a triple hookup. I'm well, just going to show you how effective burling and cubing is because we've had We've got three fish on at once, and it's, I know it's that time of day. I'll try to I've got you there, mate. I've got you there. <laughs> I'll try to stand up, and I think this one, mate, this one might be the best one today. I better go. Over Net here. job, eh? Yeah. Oh, and that's a better one. Who's in there, mate? That's more like it. 
I've never been so out of control fishing with you, Barney. That's a better fish. That's what we were looking for. Much nicer fish up around that. I don't know, he'd be three and a half kilos. Solid, solid fish. What's he been eating, mate? <laughs> He's fat. Eating. Burly. He is. Burly, yeah, mate. Look, at him. look how fat. You can see that snapper, <laughs> how fat that snapper is. That's amazing. Well, there you go. Fantastic session. Throwing cubes out, waiting for these fellas to come snipping along the trail, and there's a the result. Mate, pretty good, wasn't it? Oh, mate. Bad <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time on Real Action.